Over there. A dock. An underground landing. Interesting. I know. I wonder what was landed here all that time ago. Something illicit, no doubt. That spectre's looking for a body. You're in its sights, Red. I feel like a bloody target. Red, come and look. Do you know this sign? Company of 100 associates. I, I believe it was a new French trading company before you and I were born. The cave has been abandoned for a while then. Ah, uh, it's probably a French smuggler's den.
Ceridian's Island is a pleasant place, but you'd never know it from here. Better to keep it that way, eh? For everyone's sake. This isn't over yet. Don't just stand there. Move. That's not good. Nightmare has influence here. We should be careful. No matter the bridge, we can cross it.
there's an angry spectre nearby. Summon it before it ambushes us. The landscape here is more pleasant. There are fields and pastures and better weather. Can you feel the warmer air? I don't feel it, not really. But I know it's there. If I focus, I can still see the beauty of the world. I'd be tempted to think the warmer air means a warmer welcome. I suspect I'll be wrong. Trust that instinct, young apprentice, for it will serve you well. I feel like I'm touching target. Red. Suddenly I can't manifest. That's not good. Something magic hinders me. A ward restrains me. I'm still hindered. There must be another ward nearby. I don't think so. Better. Thank you. These wards look fairly new. A witch? Doesn't look like Seeker or Ceridian's work. Let's be careful. It's like falling off a log after being startled by a wisp in Akashus. Never gonna let me live that one down, are you?
doors blocked on the other side. What now? I can't help you from here. I'll do it. Move it. on for size. I can't help you.
ghost wards. I cannot manifest. I'm back. At long last. There's a lock. I'm gonna need a key.
What in the... There's a ship here. Incredible. Beautiful too. Take care. The place is warded. Sorry, not this time. I'm back. Long last. I'm going to need a hand here. The ward's power is gone. I feel something close. Ready to walk through it if you are.
I know. Adventure? Sounds fun. You're such a little boy sometimes. A oh, fishing boat, eh? Because that's more plausible than a galleon. Enjoying your feast of lesser living form, then. Don't be so loud. The wisps might hear you and come out. See these body parts? Good place to manifest what may linger nearby. I summon you now! Whatever grip it is the nightmare has here, you'd never know by looking.
bridge is up. Wonder why. To keep folk in, or to keep something out? What is luck in here? Time to work, Banisher. Can you find a way around the locked door? The village is full of ghost wards. They're afraid of something. Leave them up. Cause no trouble.
people there? Anyone home? Where did they go? This requires a key. Christian souls of New Eden be fenced with iron and God's own light. Aye, Fairfax Haskell, though it bring demons down in great wrath of... Friends, find fortitude in our success. Exiled from our homes by the devil's machinations, we congregate before the Lord in this new meeting house. We gather, we worship, we overcome. And we shall be well protected by the holy ward my son now makes under my instruction. For I have spent hours countless in your service, poring through books and papers, devouring the oeuvre of my peers, that our meeting house be safe. Fairfax Haskell, for whom the word pompous was invented. Half built? Yes. Open to the four winds. Yes, but already it is resplendent with our faith. A shining reminder of our renewed belief in better days. McCraith, Mr. McCraith. <laughs> I thought you. I thought you. What happy portent. What most excellent news. What blessings. I applaud your valorous deeds, O oh, fate, I say. Dead, sir, I thought you dead. Maybe I am. Do not make light of such matters, my friend, for the devil's wrath is wide awake, and his claw scratches at our door, metaphorically speaking. Well, I'm alive. I promise. My friends, I shall deliver this sermon another time. The battle with the Devil's Legions is ongoing, and Mr. McCraith and I have much to discuss.
Thank you, Lammy. Behold this miracle of ours, Mr. McGraith. Exiled we, yet in our darkest hour, we find the moral vigor to build this humble monument to resilience. But you and I must speak of darker matters. For we, erudite men of higher learning, know that evil yet walks. There is much work to be done. Indeed there is. Yes, yes. Forgive the inelegance of my welcome. You are alone. Do I surmise that Miss Duarte is no more? I'd rather not talk about it. Blessed is the man in whose spirit there is no guile. When I kept silence, my bones waxed old through my roaring all the day long. I'm so sorry for your loss. Grief is a journey, long and painful, but you do not walk the road alone, I promise you. Oh, I know. I know. In time, God healed my wounds. May you two find peace. Now, I regret that even at this most burdensome time for you, I must move with haste to business and beg once more for your help. What's going on? It must be serious if you're asking for my help. Since your defeat at the meeting house, the devil, heartened and emboldened, goes from strength to strength. He insinuates himself among my people, reveling in the suffering of the disease he unleashes upon us. It pits one against the other. Suspicion tears this community apart once again. All this to weaken my people and lead them away from the light of God. In times of disease, you need doctors, and I'm no doctor. We'll not treat the symptoms, we'll tear out the root. An agent of the devil walks among us. A witch? You must find her, or him, as it may be. You and I share great expertise, but I am a man of position. Well, you, sir, are much more familiar with field work. Go, meet my people, walk amongst them. Learn which of them secretly serves the demon, that we may expunge this evil malady from our body politic. What makes you think there is a witch at work here? Aye, sir, I'm a man of God and intellect. I can read the signs. When a so-called mystery disease afflicts half of my people overnight, there can be only one culprit. It is the devil's doing, sir. Probably through one of his servants. For you see, I understood immediately that the water in the well had been tainted. There are no strangers here. You could self-accept it. No one has fled. The guilty woman, your man, I suppose, remains within the village. As evil walks, the evil are emboldened, but this witch shall see her downfall, or his, of course, as did the last one, as will the next. Some years ago, you may have heard tell of this, I made my name on the execution of a terrible witch. It pains me that I must do it once more. This illness, tell me of it. Upon my arrival here in the Harrows, I immediately set about protecting the place with consecrated tokens. Safeguarded from the curse, we all felt safer for a time. Then some devil poisoned the well, our only source of water, someone on the inside, mind. Spoiled water proves nothing. A wise point and well-made banisher, if not for the fact that we have been, for months on end, under the obvious influence of a terrible curse. One way or another, the devil has found an agent among us. And who knows what nefarious ill-doing old Black Spy plans next. I noted your ghost wards with some interest. 
Ghost wards, an interesting name. I call them sanctifiers, a name more palatable to my flock. This requires a great deal of occult knowledge. Where did you learn your craft? Etienne Roulet, one of the greatest demonologists of our time, is a good friend of mine. I improved upon his work. Why did you not use them in New Eden when the curse began? It was more complicated to convince the whole congregation of the necessity to use magic. Here, people have more trust in my unmovable probity. A man in your position must know what goes on in his own community. Why, of course, I know all that there is to know. Or near enough. Ask your question, sir. Ask away. How goes the colony? Sir, the body politic bears a heavy weight. Not content with weakening their flesh, the devil's evil attacks the people's hearts and minds. Until you expose the culprit, the harmony of this divinely beautiful commonwealth shall remain marred by suspicion and mistrust. The long story shortened, people are not getting along. How did you, a man of position and faith, become a, a demonologist? Ah, yes. If you'll indulge me for a moment, I shall explain, in the briefest manner possible. Though blessed with intellect and no little faith, I also had privilege. I had the means for an education, time and place with which to study. For a time, my father was a pupil of Henry Boggart, the great demonologist. He had the books, I had the aptitude. When he passed, I donned his mantle. My father taught me about duty. I have gifts, faith, intellect, position. I must protect them. I must use them to protect my people. This is my duty. This is my burden. Your son, how would you describe him? Lamentation. How would I describe him? I, well, he's curious, inquisitive, I mean, as opposed to peculiar, although he has his moments there too. I tried to teach him demonology, to make him the third generation of witch hunters, ah, but he revealed no disposition. Occult knowledge could only obfuscate his good nature. At heart, he is a naive boy who reads a lot and doesn't say much. I am no witch hunter. My business is with the lingering dead. For a fee, yes, I know. But you can't deny evil practitioners exist. A few years ago, I had to cleanse this community from such a threat. How did the evil manifest? She brought an illness upon us. No ordinary pox, the devil's work. We dropped like flies, until she died. By the grace and charity of the good Lord, she was exposed. It was my honor to serve him in sending her to hell where she belonged. Her mask was a good one, as if butter would not melt upon her tongue. But she cannot fool a man of faith and intellect. No, sir, you cannot. You'll not mind me saying it, but for a Puritan paradise, you seem to get more than your fair share of witches. God has not forsaken us, but someone here does the devil's work. Find me a witch, Mr. McCraith. Return this place to the Lord. I'm a working man, Governor, but the Lord does seem happy to pay, so I'll do what I can. I'll take my leave of you, Governor. Of course. Outside, you must take the stairs. While you're with us, the first house on the left shall be your home. Another witch hunt. Another false accusation, you mean? 
another blight on the lives of women. It's our honor you're here, sir. Ghost Ward. I think you can safely knock it over. now. 